talk this morning. We do. Um, and it's not with a K, it's with a C, so that means yes. it's not going to be me. <laughs> so, Jen, you want to come up and um, sure. do you have a... Let me get that out. jobs and careers in the community, so um, I don't think we have another teacher here, at least in Sunrise, but I went to Arcata High, so I'm a local, just had my 20th class reunion this summer. Um, I went to Chico State to have a bachelor's degree in psychology, and I ended up not doing anything with it, but if you know anything about teenagers, you can always yeah. use psychology. <laughs> it's not a complete waste. Or Right, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I went to Texas Women's University, not women's, but actually Women's University. 98% women, they do admit men. Um, and my master's degree is in women's studies. My thesis was heavily focused on women's history, and that's when I jumped ship and joined the history program there and did all my coursework in a second MA um, in, in, in history and moved back home and never finished my thesis. <laughs> so, 10 years went by and, you know, I've been, I've been teaching over at Arcata High and, oh, and uh, went to uh, HSU and got my credential. 10 years ended up going by. I attempted to try to figure out how to lock that last part in and it was too late. So, an opportunity came up just this last year I don't know if you are familiar with Jack Brellis, he's our, um, our district grant writer. He was able to connect with Arizona State and the Gilder Lerman Company. And there are six of us throughout um, Humboldt County, maybe one in Del Norte that are in this program that is mainly here, it's also online, through Arizona State. So I'm back in school right now, taking two classes online. I'm hoping to finish by next year. They won't take any of my credits from the Texas ones. But it's a loose end, even though it's 10 years later, it's a loose end that I never tied up and I really have felt badly about that and I'm doing it now. I want to be able to show my kids that I, you know, I finished my start. <laughs> <laughs> and I can kind of understand a little bit more um, where my own students are at <laughs> procrastination, and papers in it, yeah. So that's where I'm at right, right now. Okay, so I teach history. I teach social science at Arcata High. This is my ninth year with the district. Um, there we are last year at graduation, and all three of those guys in the back have retired now. So they all left. This was their last year. So we had a complete overhaul of the history program at Arcata High. We hired three new people, and they've been really fantastic. Jennifer Rosebrook and I are the, the kind of remaining people. Um, so if you had children that went through, I'm sure you recognize some of these some of these individuals. So new history uh, department. I teach US history, two sections of that. I teach two sections of AP European history. In the past, I've done world, I've done psychology, sociology. So that psych degree actually did come in handy. Yeah. Um, and this year, they threw at me, because if you've been teaching long enough, you're bound to get this eventually, leadership. Woohoo! So I'm the activities director this year. It's my first time and doing that. And in charge that. of the blood drive. Woo yes. And, yeah, and, and, and John can help. John no, can no help. Pressure. Thank you. Yes. Okay, a lot of pressure, no, yes. Some uh, pressure. No, I'm grateful for that. Um, various things that go along with activities director blood drive being one of the one of the main things we do with the community. Um, but planning homecoming. These rallies, a lot of poster making. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still figuring it out exactly what it all means. I didn't realize just how much time I'd be spending on these things outside of class. And it's fun. So, so just really quickly about history. It's a really interesting time right now to be teaching social science. Um, and I love it because I feel as though you can really help to instill some critical thinking skills and to figure out, uh, help kids figure out what it is that they believe in, what is it that they stand for, where do they side with, with current things based on their understanding of history. So it's a really, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting, it's an 
an interesting time. Um, looking at multiple perspectives, I don't use a textbook in my class because I haven't found one I really like. So we use a lot of multiple, uh, you know, primary sources, secondary sources, and, and again, they make their own emphasis based on what they're what they're looking at. We just did a great one of why so many colonists died during Jamestown. It was pretty gross, and they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping to promote good citizenship. Um, informed adults figuring out, you know, what it is that, that they believe in, what is it that they stand for, and obviously being able to connect with current events, because history may not repeat itself, but it rhymes often, so. <laughs> is that your thing? Is that your thing? I'm sure it's not. <laughs> I'm not that, I'm not that creative. Did you plagiarize that, Rob? I'm sure I did somewhere. It sounds, I don't know. Churchillish. Um, okay, this is my family. My husband's a local real estate agent. He's also from the area. He went to Arcata High. I didn't know him. He was four years older than me. We have three children. My daughter Emily is 14. She's a freshman at the high school, so I see her on campus. And I don't know how thrilled she is that I'm everywhere, but she's getting used to that. Um, our middle guy is eight. He's a third grader at Jacoby Creek. And the little guy, we still call the baby because he's the baby. So the baby is four. He's, at pre he's in preschool. School and it's pretty funny. So that's that is my family. Here are these children. They're very sweet, very naughty. You can ask McCainies. They're our neighbors, naughty children. Um, my daughter, uh, a, a huge part of our life is my daughter is a competitive swimmer. And Humboldt County does not have a competition pool. So we can't compete here locally. So we spend, meaning I spend, a, a lot of our summers and several times throughout the year, we are traveling all over the place so my daughter can compete. So uh, here's some of the, the her teammates um, up in the top right. The guy on the very right, um, Kieran McNulty, is the first kid, he's 16, he, I actually have him in my class this year, he's the first kid in Humboldt County to make a junior national time. So in December, he's going to um, Austin, Texas, and he's going to compete there. And we've never seen that out of Humboldt County, so that's very exciting. And Kieran's going to do that, so be looking for him in the news for sure. His older <coughs> sister, who graduated from high school probably eight, eight or nine years ago, Weston, maybe? She, she was in the class in 2015. 2015. She made it to the Olympic trials in the last in the last bout. So very, very talented family. You see, I actually in most rotary mornings see his mother running by. Laura is running across the plaza. You know the family, they're incredibly athletic. My daughter is also a dancer, so in addition to swimming every night except for Monday and oftentimes in the mornings before school, she's dancing three nights a week too. She just moved up to point shoes and I wasn't a dancer, but apparently this is a big deal. She really is wanting to do that for a little while. She's going to eventually need to figure it out. And I can tell you there's not a whole lot of money in dance scholarships, but there is in swimming. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> gently steer her somewhere that would be uh, financially beneficial for our family. Um, here, here are just some more pictures of others, oh, uh, the, the trilobite. Our McCainies are our dear friends and neighbors. We love to help them out with um, Kinetic every year. My son is a, is a Cub Scout. I, uh, my husband was very busy with his job this summer, so I got to be the den mother at a camp at Camp Loblin. Um, it was, uh, and there he is with his little green skin cap. It was, I think I told you this already um, this summer when I talked about my weekend. Uh, it was a little Lord of the Flies-ish, but it was, it was fun. We had a good time. So there's the boys. Here we are um, at Niagara Falls, of all places, this summer. We were driving from Michigan. We cut across Canada, went to New York over the summer. You know, the, the, the turnoff is right there. It's like, gosh, when, when will we ever be back at Niagara Falls? Let's take the kids. We spent a grand total of 15 minutes there. And it's a big waterfall. Get back in the van. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And there he is, this is it, yeah. And here's my husband, um, any chance he can pull out that Uncle Sam costume, he does. <laughs> and uh, Finn, that's the Trinities, where are you? That's yeah. that's Granite Lake, um, not quite the hike of Grizzly, but it's a, it's a brutal hike too. So we love to backpack, so that's, that's my craft talk. Yeah. Yeah.